Hey everybody, welcome back to Darkest Dungeon. Uh, we're heading out to the Warrens, uh, which is going to bring us up to the next boss in this area, so we'll try to do that today as well. Uh, we've got two potential story progressions here happening with our Shieldbreaker and or our Falconer, uh, so when we camp, we will hopefully see one of their events. Uh, we're bringing out Sin with the Venomous Vial and the Dismiss Head for damage and blight. Uh, Kaz with the Death Blow Resist and the Bleed Skill Chance. Uh, with extra damage if he gets low. Um, we're going with the Bloodshot trophy here for extra crit. And then extra speed and crit on that first round. So hopefully she can fire off a nice shot. And with this crit mod, like, our crit chances are going to be very high on the first round. And then uh, we're going to bring Charlotte Bellamy, who's going to be focused on healing and de-stressing. If we have to transform, we will. Um, but we're going to buff her healing and try to mitigate her stress as much as we can. So, we're going a couple shovels, a bunch of bandages for this area, a decent amount of herbs, keys, holy water, a few torches. I think that's okay. Try not to overbuy as much as I have been. Today's log comes from Ruth, who writes for our Vestal Grey. I haven't a maternal bone in my body, but when a brigand snatched up a young girl from a school group close to me, I don't know what powers I summoned from which god. I rained hellfire down that man. And another, and another. The children ran screaming in terror at the sight of me, but they lived to run, unlike Ezreal. Father, forgive me my transgressions against heaven, but I do not regret it. <laughs> That's cool. To prosecute our war against the swine, cool. we must first scout the So we'll go like this. 90% of rooms. Uh-oh. Nothing must be left untouched. Littering Think that's going to get us in trouble? Trinkets and baubles. Place your bets. Paid for in blood. Not sure what our scouting is going to be like. All right, so oh, I'm going to have to switch this because just because that's in a weird spot. No crit. How disappointing. Forty-one percent chance to crit though. All right, we crit there at seventeen. That's cool. It was math, you know. Uh, we could do a lure to bring him up. Takes extra crits. Can't dodge as much. Can't be guarded. I like it. Good crit. Lead on. Dead. Excellent. Now, remember, the nice thing about the Lamia heal, it's like... The amount isn't as huge, obviously, as our Vestal, but it does cure Blight Bleed. Um, so you can obviously see the benefits there. What's his Blight Resist? It's pretty high, uh, but we do 160% base, so 80% chance still. With all that proc. Nice, that's 9. No crits. Okay. That's right, though. Her She's not going to crit that high. Hmm. After that first round, her crits drop pretty significantly, but... Hmm. I should have transformed there now, but you never know. But if we would have transformed, he would have died. Uh, we do more damage with... Oh, we can't even hit that front line there. Putting that mark on, it's kind of useless. I might switch this to gouge. I think I will. He's going to go. Do I want to add this stress? Nah, not yet. It's early. All right, Continue he's not going to go. Destroy them all. Okay. Let me just change this up a tad. So, basic attack, flanking gouge, volley fire, and adapt. And then let's do his also. Basic attack, backline... 
uh, exsanguinate and suffer. I think that one's fine. Nice, another hood. Uh, do we just... You know what? I think we're just going to go around this. Save that shovel, hopefully. Because I only brought two. Good surprises. Okay, let's rock and roll here. There's the crit. Didn't kill, but that's they got that prot in there. Let's go bleed on the back line. Dead here. Armor piercing there. Okay, so the back two are dead. You just top him up. Actually, I shouldn't even worry about that. We should probably just de-stress. Because when he gets low, he's... Yeah, we're fine with him. Kind of want to bring him down. Unforeseen. Unforgiving. Speed 2. Confidence surges as the One thing we don't have, like, we, we don't have any control, unfortunately. There's another nice crit. We'll de-stress a bit. Two. <laughs> Ouch. That's rough. That does kind of shuffle us up a bit. Something we'll have to kind of keep an eye on. Portraits I really do want. Let's get rid of the blood here. I'll aim to camp kind of in this area, I think. Nice. Got the map. Nothing. Oh, there we go. Unfortunately, the map did not know about the trap that was right in front of it. Oh, look who it is. Our good friend. The Collector. 52 damage versus bleeding. But we probably should change that. But we're going to start with this. It's going to debuff his accuracy. Good crit. Right through his helmet. We could put this on so he gets extra crits received. Can't be guarded. Minus dodge. Now see this position sucks. Hate to have to do that. Um, blight. Okay, bring in your friends. That's fine. I'm going to try to focus him. She should be slow now. So maybe we can rain... Uh, blood back there. That would be dope. Yes. She's done. Dress. Oh, come on now. Oh, that's not fair. That is not fair. Hmm. I think I'm going to try this again. 14 crits received. Damage versus marked. So let's swap here. Damage versus bleeding. Oh, she can't reach him. That's right. Damn. 
This is going to debuff dodge and speed. And this is just going to buff her. Okay. We could also do Volley Fury. Hit three of them. Yeah, let's just go damage on. In the chest. We've taken eight around. Ah, damn. That's not good. That bleed could take us in there. We gotta be careful. Let's cure that. Let's rain in the back again. More bleed. Taking 12 around now. Needed a big crit there. That's not it. I think that's messing him up because of the can't be guarded there. Thirty percent chance to crit did not. Gross. Right across the throat. Come on now. Just not quite getting that damage that we need. This might do it though. That's 12. So he's dead when he goes next. Or sick. Alright, good job, Sin. Man, we haven't seen him for a long time. I'm okay if we don't see him for a while. This expedition at least promises success. Okay. Uh, bandages. No! Oh, you are lucky. You are lucky. Okay, so I'm going to go to this room like we said. We don't have anything uh, behind. Books we're going to ignore. If we have a battle here, so be it. Holy water. Finding the stuff is only the first test. Age from a lost Now diary. It must be carried home. The journal entry is written in a very fine and elegant cursive. It's been quite some time since I stepped foot in this grand city. Much has changed in my absence. The miserly workers had been placed with cheerful men and women, talking of the most recent battles in the king's arena. They also talk of a valiant champion who will be fighting in the arena later in the day. I tried to brush off the chatter, but as I wandered about, all I heard was more and more of this man's heroic feats. With my interest peaked, I'll be making my way to the gladiatorial gladiatorial ring soon. Okay, then. Come on now. Nice. Okay, so let's camp. A spark we'll do a full thing here. It's a goal without hope. We should probably heal, but... Let's do the uh, prevent nighttime ambush. Buff uh, accuracy and crit again. Buff crot. And we'll do minus 50 stress. The light. Here we go. The promise of safety. Okay, so it's this one again. Now, I don't know if... Hmm. So we saw this before. We know we need to leave her alive. That's fine. What I'm wondering is... Is this a progression of, of the previous one, you know? I'm not sure. This can hit all of them. Not a huge amount, though. Debuff accuracy on all of them. Let's do that. A decisive pummeling. Never mind. Oh, I didn't switch the thing. Oh. Oh, well, it would have reduced the damage anyway, so... It's fine, I guess. Should heal here. That was a bit of a misplay on my part. 
quickly the tide turns. Let's actually set up a block. We could have gone for a kill, but these guys. Hey, good. Now we have an exanguinate coming up. Guarded by the hostage, so we'll have to be careful with that. That worked out perfectly. Okay, this guy's dead next round. This guy's dead next round. Oof. Perched at the very precipice of oblivion. Problem is... We have, we have to do this. So we break guard. Can't be guarded. Very nice. Better take him off death's door here just in case. Nice. The fiend falls, a faint hope blossoms. And then dead, dead. What? He's fine. Therefore, nice. Free stress heal. Maintain the offensive. We'll heal up there. Maiden's gratitude. Let's go. De stress, right? Yeah, cool. I like that. Fugitive journal. We found the maiden, but Jared so and Mavis got carried victory. away with the hunt and killed the girl. But a victory, nonetheless. Irritating. I returned to Mother immediately to tell her she was furious. She gathered up a lot of us after Jared and Mavis returned to make an example of them. A life for a life, she always says. Had the two of them fight to the death. They ended up killing each other. Jared had his guts splayed out while Mavis got his skull crushed. Gruesome scene. There's two more jackasses I won't have to deal with. I don't know if we've seen that before. I feel like we might have. Not sure. But I like those scenes. They're cool. They're cool. Uh, the Shield Breaker one, I know that when you hit seven of them, uh, it stops. I can't remember what this symbol does. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> okay. I Yeah, it was a debuff. I couldn't remember if that... <laughs> Don't laugh at me, okay? Guys. The way is lit. The path is clear. Just don't. We require only the strength to follow it. Oh, damn. For some reason I thought I saw a trap on the ground. Nope, just enemies. I want that first round crit so badly. Bring her up. Resisted everything. That's nice. Can we bleed a skeleton? Nope. Good dodge, Sin. What's his speed? Zero? Oh, Sin! Owning. Put this one down. Nice thing about that is it clears horror, but other than that, it's admittedly kind of useless. Let's blight. Be wary. Hey, we're almost Triumphant done. Pride precipitates a dizzying fall. Let's uh, ditch our torches. We'll do the rest as much light as we can. Uh, probably ditch keys next. Ooh. Okay, so we've got AoE for this guy. That's, that's nice. When we did land the crit, we landed on the AoE stuff. Super cool. 
guy still lives, unfortunately. Damn it. Uh, we can do... No, we can't. Set up a block here. This guy's going to hit all of us. You know what? Let's transform. Stun chance 120. Ugh, not great. Does a little damage. Not bad. Okay, so this one in the back is gone. We'll transfer the bleed over. And then we'll hiss and go to the back, I think. I think that's fine. A death by inches. Ooh, this might hurt. Good thing he's got padding there. The nice. bigger the beast, the greater the glory. As victories mount. So I'm going to ditch the bandages distance. now. Uh, this will be fine. We have 10 food. We'll do something like that. We're going to be done very soon. This, I think, next two rooms. We just have to make it there. We have a lot of portraits. Hopefully we make it out of here, man. This is kind of getting scary. A lot of prot. Let's go here. Seemed underwhelming. Let's heal up. Uh, we don't want to blight this. Just try smashing him. Oh, he resisted the bleed. Oh, this might hurt. Or rush. Okay, we're fine. Now we have an exanguinate attack. Big crit. He crit on the last time he used that, too. These guys cool. Man, her healing is actually not that bad. It's really not bad. Monstrous size has no intrinsic merit unless inordinate exsanguination cool. be considered. Timely dodge, I'll say. There you go. Dress wise, so far, so good. Bleed, baby, bleed. 13 around. So close. I've seen worse. Uh, let's hit the, uh, the other stuff to see if we can get some stress heals in. Or, uh, regular heals. We'll let him do an exanguinate attack, hopefully. This guy doesn't go first. Nice. A victory. Perhaps the turning point. Can't get rid of those, that's right. Hey, lost diary three out of ten. 
Typical. I took a wrong turn on my way to the arena and ended up in a rather droll part of the city, which serves as a home to many vulgar and unscrupulous individuals. It was only predictable that I would be stopped by a group of these thugs looking to strip me of my belongings. A rather poor choice of words and hands that touched places they shouldn't have resulted in an unpleasant series of events that took up more of my time than I had hoped. The praised hero would begin his fight soon, so I hastily picked up my mirror and made my way to the Coliseum. Is this the Thrall? It's this, like, gladiator? I don't, remember, I don't know which class this is. We're not going to touch that. Such blockages are unsurprising. These tunnels predate even the earliest settlers. Okay. I guess we have to get this last room. Whoops. Pretty sure on medium... There's, I guess there's a fluctuation in the number of rooms that can show, but um, may as well just ditch this. Secrets and wonders can be found in the most tenebrous corners of this place. I guess in this scenario, we need to hit all but one, but sometimes I think depending on how many rooms spawn, you can hit all but two. Nice. Okay, so that's our path to the boss now. We've got a pretty cool Hellion trinket here. Less stress and higher accuracy when the torch is lit. It always is. Ooh, a lot of diseases, though. Syphilis, terrible. Syphilis, terrible. Nihau Nguyen, terrible. Marked by the flock. Kaz is now level five, so that's cool. Trouble yourself not. Fanatics in the stock infected crusade. heroes. Its noble end affords you broad tolerance in your choice of means. How were things at base while we were gone? Edmunds disappeared. Wants to achieve personal enlightenment. Cool. De-stressed on these guys. Uh, removed some diseases. Got rid of Mist the Spot and Hylomania. Archie's thirsting for blood. All right. Level four, level five, level four. And diseases a galore. Um, let's clear this out. So the boss is the Swine King, level three. So we probably want to bring, like, a marking party, I think. I can't remember exactly how he operates. Even though we would have faced the basic version already. Champion Highwayman. Damn. Did we just get... Oh, yeah, no, Brooks is level 6. Man. Man. So Brooks level four, we could just upgrade Jeff again, or do we just fill that slot and say, you know what, forget the uh, Crusader that we were waiting for, the higher level Crusader, and just take a level level five Highwaymen. Their uh, Highwaymen are amazing, and then we get some new blood in here too. We haven't uh, recruited somebody straight up new for a few Elusive, weeks. Elusive, evasive, persistent. Righteous traits for a rogue. And then our occultists. These guys are out leveling for sure. And then... Let's check the bottom. No. Close. Lightus is level 2. We could upgrade this to 7. We could do that. I wonder if... What if we trade... These. God, it's... The trades for portraits are just terrible. We could trade all of these to get up to 48. I'm doing it. I've never built the bank ever. So it's finally happening. Boom. Bank is built, baby. That's awesome. Feels good. Feels very good. Okay, so I'm going to set up for the next mission. And then I'll also introduce you to... To our new uh, 
Highwaymen. And then I'll show you... Oh, well, we'll just go on the next mission. So give me a second to set that up. Okay, so first up, let's introduce you to Jeremiah Farson, our brand new champion highwayman. He's coming in with Ghost Slayer, Last Gasp, On Guard, Nervous Bleeder, Stress Eater, uh, Love Interest, Bad Healer, and Clumsy. These aren't that bad, actually. Uh, his backstory is this. Jeremiah crested the hill as he approached the squalid, despicable hamlet of which he was summoned to. The dreams had told him. They had told him many things. The throbbing sounds of beaten gongs irritated him day in and day out, but they seemed to subside the closer he got to this despicable place. Why him? For the sins he had committed? Or was it just random chance? Jeremiah didn't know. All he knew was that it was something to do with the crumbling, eerie ruin at the edge of the cliff face. He was here to earn his redemption and clear his conscience of whatever plagued it. Though uh, there was no forgiving what he had done, but perhaps he could do something worthwhile before he ultimately succumbed to whatever fate awaited him in the darkest dungeon. Awesome, man. Happy to have you on the squad. Obviously, you're going to fit in pretty nicely here. Uh, so I've gone with like a full-on marking party. Um, obviously, the Seraph consumes these marks but does huge damage. Uh, she's got Born Leader, which is quite good. We're going extra protection and uh, some damage reflection. Uh, on Jeff, we're going to go with the extra crit chance and the repost gong so that we can set this up nicely. I'll maybe start him here so he can repost early. He's speed of nine, so between these two, they're going to both have a pretty good chance. Um, and then we've got the mark damage here. We're going with de-stress and dodge plus accuracy. And then in the back, we're going with healing and uh, de-stress to offset this. And then, of course, damage versus marked. We have the actual mark here. Um, and yeah, I think a bounty hunter is generally nice in these marking parties, but uh, I don't know. I think I, I should actually double check here. I looked, but I want to see where our bounty hunters are at. Ryuga. Uh, you know what? Maybe I, maybe I bring Ryuga instead. Maybe I bring Ryuga. I think so. I think so. Let's find our arbalist again. We're going to remove those things. Oh, sorry. The, uh, the grave robber is what we're looking for. I really need to have a better way of dealing or of getting those musketeers out here. I just feel like... There's a few classes I'm struggling with bringing consistently. I shouldn't even say consistently. It's just I struggle bringing them. Because um, I just feel like cl other classes kind of outdo them a bit. The reason this guy's nice, obviously, is because we don't have to waste a turn marking. We can put this in and 50% of the time we're going to get it. Let's put extra damage here as well. Okay, and then we have to unlock uh, Nighttime Ambush. On Jeff. Excellent. And then we'll just double check their skills. We'll double check Ryuga too. Okay, so let's roll. So Swine King, medium run. Let's go like so, 20 food. Take three shovels. Take a whole bunch of these. Two torches. Something like that. I think that's good. So we start him here, he reposts, then she's in the back, she's healing, marking, snipering. Attacking and attacking. We also have the brand here. We have uh, Cure Bleed. Let's maybe throw that in because we don't need this uh, unless we want to de-stealth stuff, but let's go. My first attempts at summoning were crude and the results disappointing. I soon found, however, that the type and condition of the host's meat was a critical factor. The best results came from pigs whose flesh is most like that of man. 
Okay. A nameless abomination. A testament to my failures. It must be so destroyed. These could be here or here. We don't know. Unless we get a nice, like, major scout. These guys, I think are, we can stomp through most of them. Uh, yeah, that's probably not the, the play. Press this advantage. Dropping that down is really only beneficial against uh, marks. We should have just went with a regular attack. Oof. Let's get those out of our system. Thank you. Decimated. Their formation is broken. Maintain the offensive. These these ones are really quick to go through because <laughs> you just beeline straight through the middle. If we get lucky, uh, well, we'll Watch camp here. Step. Took that extra damage I didn't need to. We'll camp here, and then that way, either way, we're covered for the number of battles. A handsome reward for a task well performed. Yeah, that's fast. Oh, man. Ryuga. What's up with his accuracy? It's being debuffed somehow. Work. Oh, the frickin' Loudenum Pension. Ugh. Oh, my God. Can't anything all of a sudden. Be gone, fiend. Good target for us. Again. Oof. Oh, thank you. Look at that. Are there five and six? You know what? I'm gonna heal them up. Another Boom. One. Genia crushed. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Hey, Ryuga. Dude, what is happening? Yeah, let's give him that accuracy. Thank you. <laughs> he needs it. Another abomination yes. cleansed from our land. Don't worry, buddy. I got gotcha. you. Okay, I definitely don't need all these torches. The match is struck. A blazing star is born. Circle in the dark. The battle may yet be won. Uh, we'll eat five. Takes us to 15. We're going to do nighttime ambush prevention. Give one companion extra damage and speed. If they're not religious, they're going to suffer a bunch of damage. Which is going to happen to him. So let's do a self buff there. Accuracy and crit we can definitely use. And then do we just, like, do an encourage? Or we take... Minus the chance that we're surprised. You know what? Let's do that. Okay, let's go north. If not, he's south. Finding the stuff is only the first test. We should get surprises here. Home. Yeah, for sure. With all of this. Uh, let's go on the back. There you go. 
Ryuk is starting to hit now. I like it. Big crit too. Wow. Nice. A faint hope blossoms. This poor guy. Doesn't even know what's coming. Foolish horrors. Brought low and driven into the mud. Okay, so we're gonna torch up. Let's also throw on uh resistances. And if he's here, great. If not, we wasted those. And we wasted them. Excellent. Very cool. Very cool. I hear him calling. Sweet sounds of pig noises. Let's go in and say hello. Oh, oh yeah, right, the little Wilbur guy. Forgot about that. A blundering mountain. We definitely ignore him. That was a nice dodge, straight away. Yes, where you go. And the mark. Uh, we couldn't ask for anything better. Fantastic start. Set up our repost. Uh, mark damage. And we're going to consume the mark. Armor piercing doesn't matter here. Minus 50. Yeah, this one for sure. 33. Wow. Wow. Now, the only other thing we could ask for is to have some damage over time. But we do get that damage reflection, so in a way it kind of works. Let's see if we get the mark on again. Did not. This is still on for two rounds. Let's go bleed here. Um, I'll put the mark on. Hoping that he doesn't crit both of these guys. Unnerved. Crits one of them. Unbalanced. Hey, that's, that's actually scary straight away. Um, if I guard him here, then this guy... Attacks both anyway. His attack might be okay. Oh, that's a lot of damage. Uh oh. oh are you freaking no kidding me? Oh, that sucks. Oh, we were so confident. Overconfident. You know what they say. Damn it. Oh, that was really unfortunate, man. Really unfortunate. I'm gonna go damage on here. Ah, oh, right, and he didn't even resist once. Didn't resist once. And he just need, he did that one damage from his little stun. Oh, I should have went repost there, I guess. Ah, oh, that sucks, Ryuga. Oh, I feel so bad. Continue oh. the onslaught. Destroy them all. That hurts. That hurts. That hurts. That hurts. The way is lit. The path is clear. We oh. require only the strength. It's just like to things change it. so quick, you know. Such a bummer. I'm going to try and uh, disarm this for some stress heal. See if we can find anything else before we head home. Oh, not even a single resist. Feels bad. Feels bad. All right. Let's call it a day here. I don't want to get into a big fight and then not have Ryuga.
Natural swing is nice. We got Assassina to level 5. Jeff's really close to level 5. I can still see their Frank of Isle blood here. They stormed the manor. Edmund's back. But I was dead before they found me. And the letter was on its way. Ugh. That sucks. Pissed. The nice thing that it does for us is it opens up another slot, so we have flexibility, kind of like how we picked up an extra highwayman. I don't think I'm going to take two slayers. I don't think I'm going to take two wraiths. I... We could... Oh, we have three Vestals, so never mind. Uh, we might get a Musketeer upgrade. Nope. Nothing. Nothing I can do there. Oh, poor Ryuga. What have we lost so far? Highwayman at the beginning. Man-at-arms. Two bounty hunters. <laughs> After just talking about how much I like bounty hunters, too. I wasn't even going to bring him along. But somebody else could have went easy enough, I, I guess. Ezreal was a tough loss. And Mavis, too. Okay. Do we feel confident enough? Yeah, we've got a lot of level fives now. Here's what I'm thinking we do. I'm thinking we do like a, a medium. A medium run somewhere. Let's see what we have. Minus 50% Chris received when attacked by Yokai. Minus 20% Chris received, period. Minus 10% crit. I don't really like that. Sunring. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. That we want. That we want. Okay, so here's what we'll do. We need money to, to really get our bank, like, working, right? So I think we'll go to the ruins with one of our... Accuracy and crit. I think that's fine. Uh, with one of our antiquarians. Uh, we'll go with Revere the End in the ruins. We could bring... A Bob. Oh, he's level 5 now. Never mind. Who else would be good? Who's close? Gray is close. A level 5. Mm. Let's not take... The extra stress in the ruins. That's pretty nice. Hot to trot. So there's our healing. Dodge spamming. Damage. And then... We need, to, we need somebody that can deal with backline. Maybe we could just bring Jeff again. I don't see why not. If I put him on uh, repost, actually, let's get rid of this. Take point blank shot. So we repost point blank, and then he can kind of do whatever. That way we have some backline damage. And we'll do the same setup with him on the melee crits. Uh, Crusader, we had something really cool at the beginning that we lost. And I don't think it's coming back, is it? But let's go damage. And we'll go Book of Stress here. We don't really need to stack her healing as much. We'll take the extra HP and the protection trinket that we have for the Antiquarian. And then, do we have any good Vestal trinkets? Speed on first round, speed afterwards, minus 25 stun. Stress healing while camping, 25% healing skills without a stress. 
addition is really good. And then let's take this. Yeah, it... Well, it does decrease her stun. That's the thing. That's pretty significant, actually. The speed is nice because it'll... It would ensure that she can bring people off death's door, but we have a save with um, our antiquarian, too. We can just de-stress... Oh, that's not what we wanted. My bad. Wait, what did we do here? Where's her protection stone again? There it is. Okay. I think this is a good group for this. So we run through here. And then we... Uh, Get a really good sun ring. And we'll try and heal everybody or send somebody in for stress before we leave as well. If we need to. Assassina? Yeah, I guess. Let's get rid of syphilis here. Syphilis there. And then quirk wise. That's fine. Extra stress versus size two. I'm actually going to get rid of that. I feel like the later dungeons, that's going to become like a thing that causes us problems. Lots of inadequacy, that's something we can't really figure out. Can't deal with. I don't like when random things happen. Okay. Okay. I think that's pretty good. So we're going to make some money in the ruins. And then we're going to probably go here for the mendicant's relics after that. Um, but that'll get our bankroll going. If we can, like, jack this up to 70, 80,000 and not have to spend a bunch of money and just let the interest go to work, that would be pretty, pretty nice. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you soon. Bye for now. Rip Rayuga.